So on this Debaco University video, we're going to go over the June nitrate soil test. It's a great way to evaluate the nitrogen in your soil, which is constantly changing, but this test is a good job of evaluating uh, that content of nitrogen in your soil. All right, let's get into the June nitrate soil test. Well, looking at that June nitrate uh, test here, the June nitrate test also goes by the name of Precide Dress Nitrate Test, or the PSNT. It was developed in the mid-1980s and was the first soil test for nitrogen in humid regions like New England. And we typically see it associated with corn, as it is here, uh, but it can be used for other crops um, as well. So keep that in mind, that while you'll see a lot of images or a lot of correlation with it for corn, yes, that was where it developed was from, but it is applicable to many other crops. Uh, the June nitrate test is commonly associated with corn production, but can also be applied to other field-grown crops. So even though the images I might show you here, the graphs for corn, again, realize it is applicable. So the data generated from this test can be applied to other crops and field conditions. Here we're seeing the soil nitrate concentration in parts per million and the relative corn yield. We do see this kind of like general, this kind of curve here where if we increase our soil nitrogen concentration much above that uh, region here, we can see there's really not that much uh, increase in relative corn yield, at least on a percentage basis. So that June nitrate, the test is based on concentrations of nitrate nitrogen, or NO3N, uh, in the soil sample. When the soil nitrate concentration is greater than 25 parts per million, the probability of increased yield from N fertilizer applied to the field is very low. So this is why with that PSNT test, depending on what the values come back as, estimate nitrogen to apply in pounds per acre. You could see that there are values, and that's typically above that uh, 25 parts per million range, that no additional nitrogen fertilizer would be recommended. You can see that here. If it's a uh, net 21 to 24, about 10% a likely loss, so expected yield response, consider side dressing with 20 to 50 pounds of nitrogen per acre. Less than 21, uh, we look at here as other specific guidelines that have presented here. But realize about 25 and above, really no need to apply any nitrogen fertilizer. So what does this test provide? Well, the test provides an indication of how much nitrogen will be available to the crop during the growing season. A little bit more than just a point in time, trying to estimate during the growing season. It measures nitrate in the soil at a point in time, but makes estimations going forward. Sampling is timed to match before corn goes into the higher requirement for nitrogen, which is why it's commonly referred to as the June nitrate test. And really for other crops as well, sampling in June would also be recommended. The goal is to minimize the uncertainty and make when you're making those fertilizer recommendations from the lab. However, this test can be performed during other months, but typically in June, a lot of the labs offer their quickest turnaround time, which can be very important. When you're collecting a sample, so it's kind of like a soil sample, but slightly different, because unlike traditional mineral-based soil tests, the June nitrate test soil sample should be collected from the surface foot of soil. So from the very top, all the way down, instead of 6 to 9 inches, down to 12 inches down. Um, the sample should be placed in a paper bag and gotten to the lab as soon as possible. You do not want to put them in plastic because that will uh, cause the nitrogen to react and not give you a proper field representative sample. Results are sent to growers within 24 hours of being processed by the lab, typically only during the month of June, and that's why it's typically called the June nitrate test. This is because soil samples are collected when corn is about 6 to 12 inches tall and it's actively growing. So farmers need to be able to get into equipment into the field, if necessary, to add fertilizer before the plants get too tall. And that's why the lab has such a quick turnaround time when they can. So what is the optimum rate? Well, excessive would be greater than 30 parts per million. Optimum is at 20 to 30 parts per million, and deficient would be under 20 parts per million of that nitrate nitrogen. Knowing your field history and keeping records can help you dial in your nitrogen and maximize yields, while minimizing potential for environmental cont contamination and increasing your overall costs. So here again, another recommendation based on your soil nitrate level. Looking at silage corn again, but applicable to other crops as far as how much nitrogen should you add. And here we can see that there are some indications where you don't want to add any nitrogen fertilizer because you're just not going to get any return on that investment. So hopefully that explains a little bit more about the nitrate test and how you have to sample the first foot, get the lab as quickly as possible, don't use a plastic bag, and it helps determine your nitrogen. And in some cases, you may not need to add any nitrogen.